Okay. We're going to move on then uh, quickly now to Disney Pixar's latest Elementals. Emma, can you give this a quick intro? Certainly. Um, so, Elementals. Uh, what if elements had feelings? Here's a clip. But we all live by one simple rule. Elements cannot mix. Uh, uh, pipe squished me all out of shape. Dang. That's better. Oh. This, I read, I think, that had the lowest opening weekend for any Disney Pixar film, which implies it was rubbish. Would you share that view? Or is it just people listening to bad reports? I, I do not share that view. It was very good. Uh, especially when you consider that the last few that they've had have been absolutely atrocious. Just very much felt like a waste of my time. Oh, I'm trying to remember what they are now. So what did we have? Uh, onward. Yeah, Onward was great. I found uh, that very yeah. self-indulgent and yeah. really very challenging to enjoy. And Soul. There was Soul, though, wasn't there? That was great. I, I enjoyed Soul. Soul. I enjoyed Soul. Soul was good. Yeah. Although I I did rate it very highly, and I think part of that was because it was one of the first things <laughs> I saw in an actual cinema screen after the pandemic. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that'll so do it. <laughs> did, that did give it a few extra bonus points. Right. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, Lightyear I was very excited for, but that didn't really grab me in the way I kind of hoped. I went in having very low expectations and completely blew me away. I really loved the way uh, they managed to incorporate all the elements to work together. It was funny. It was heartwarming. I mean, I might as well have been a water element. I was sobbing <laughs> uh, pretty much constantly. Okay. Uh, and just as a, a little extra, the short that they put before it. That had me crying. So yeah, I wasn't even in the film yet, and I was crying. Um, <laughs> but it made a nice little addition. Okay, great, Andy. Same hey, I'm going to slightly disagree with with Eva. I saw this three weeks ago at a preview screening. I think it's an incredible work of the imagination to say, okay, let's bring fire and water and air and earth to life and turn them into characters. I think the imagination is stunning. I think that the um, background and the animation is stunning, but the story for me was all too predictable. It's a tale as old as time. It's Beauty and the Beast. Uh, fire and water don't mix, uh, but in this they do, and they end up falling in love. So to me, you could see where the story was going right from the off, and I probably not the target audience. I admit being a grumpy 60-year-old, but my 33-year-old daughter went to see it yesterday, and she is the world's biggest Disney fan, and she rang up and said, Dad, I'm disappointed. It wasn't okay. that great. She loved okay. the up, the, the little uh, cartoon, the animated feature at the beginning of the film, the 10 minutes of revisiting Carl and the characters from up. Love that. I love that as well. And as you say, Emma, it's, I'd like to see what happened, because it did leave us on a bit of a cliffhanger, so I assume we'll get to see what happened uh, next to Carl. Uh, but as for Elemental is concerned, for me, one of the best things about it was Thomas Newman's score. Mm -hmm. which I thought was rich and vibrant. It was a really stunning soundtrack. It's okay, but it's not Pixar at its best. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to see this one tomorrow, hopefully. So if my jet lag makes me wake up at any sort of sensible time. Scores on the doors. Andy, what did you give this one? Another seven. Another seven. Okay, that's yep. not bad. And Emma? Um, I'm going with an eight. An eight. So that gives us a flickering dream score of seven and a half, making this also another. Ah! I have to Ooh. say, my daughter and her kids <laughs> went to see it and they greatly enjoyed it as well. So, um, yeah, ignore the haters, get out to your <laughs> cinema with the kids, slash grandkids, and go and see Elemental. Mm -hmm. 